with the flip is up tube nation i look crazy right now i just woke up there's stains on my shirt but i don't care i just got back from a long vacation kind of it was just a week at a hotel i was by myself but i needed to be by the ocean i needed to be on a balcony outside it was great i read two books i journaled i met with my spiritual teacher yes i have a spiritual teacher three times during that week just to get get my aura back but that's besides the point i feel better in that aspect but before we get into life is strange i need y'all to pay attention and listen to me right now my friend needs my help my friend needs your help my friend called me the other day and she told me that her best friend got arrested last week for organizing a peaceful protest in san luis obispo california she is a leader in the black lives matter movement in san luis obispo she's been doing protests for a really long time they've always been peaceful but last week they targeted her apparently a car was trying to run over a group of people in the protest and and someone knocked the windows out of the car and then the police took that as a riot instead of a protest when actually it all started because a car was trying to run over the peaceful protesters There's no peace no trust There's no peace It's a predominantly white town, San Luis Obispo is. The police targeted Tiana right after the protest ended and everyone was going to their cars. I guess the police were waiting around for Tiana to be alone in a small group. My really good friend witnessed the arrest alongside of Tiana's mother. It was very traumatizing for everyone there. Stop! Stop! Get away from her! I'm just gonna read this explanation because it's easier. Once the march of more than 300 people had emptied the park, San Luis Obispo Police Department intentionally waited until there were little to no witnesses to target Tiana and make the arrest. SLOPD boxed her in, then ambushed her with excessive force. Six police officers jumped out of police SUVs, headed straight for Tiana and no one else. And my friend was there too with like 10 or nine other people at the time. They violently ambushed her. Six cops dragged her across the street and arrested her without reading her Miranda rights. Police continued to terrorize the crowd after Tiana's arrest and refused to tell her friends and mom where they were taking her. Tiana's arrest was fully targeted. At the time of booking, Tiana faced five charges, two of which were felonies. When Tiana asked multiple times in police custody why she was arrested, they finally responded, we don't don't know. They waited hours to book her and instead issued a press release first. Weeks after the arrest, San Luis Obispo PD publicly announced that they upped the charges and recommended the DA to file eight charges, five of them which are felonies. If convicted of these charges, Tiana faces approximately 12 to 15 years in prison. For exercising her First Amendment right of free speech and peacefully protesting. San Luis Obispo Police Department is trying to make an example of Tiana. She is being used as political pawn between the left and the right with her future as collateral. In an election year, police and politicians targeted Tiana as means to silence, threaten, and scare the local Black Lives Matter movement. Tiana is being singled out as means to silence local activists and BIPOC youth in the community of San Luis Obispo, which has 2% black population. She does not deserve these charges nor five fucking felonies. This is a dangerous abuse and flex of power by San Luis Obispo PD. The very things Tiana stands up to, police brutality, systemic racism, and corruption is now what's putting her future in jeopardy. No one should go to prison for 12 to 15 years for peacefully protesting and organizing it. It wasn't her fault that that car tried to run them over and someone else that wasn't even around her, she, she and her friends, 
were somewhere else when all of that happened, when someone smashed the car. And she's the one that got targeted and arrested. They didn't target my friend. They didn't target the other nine people around. They targeted Tiana only. Ugh. It's just really fucked up and I need you guys to help me. I put the link in my description for the petition for the GoFundMe. And if you click the link, there's also emails that are written up to the city officials in San Luis Obispo telling them to drop the charges because this is fucking insane. Tiana is a beautiful, kind spirit that just wants the best for everyone. And the fact that her future might be stripped away because San Luis Obispo is just trying to keep their reputation clean and good. It's really, really fucked up and really sad. If you guys could just click that link, it'll take 15 seconds just to sign the petition. Go to my Twitter and share the information, retweet it, whatever. My friend Melissa is on my Twitter. I retweeted her a bunch. She has more information on the situation. Just hashtag free Tiana with two N's and hashtag free Tiana now. Drop the charges Dan Dow or Doe, I don't know how to say his name, who gives a fuck. Tweet at Dan Dow, tweet at the chief of police. The chief of police left her gun in El Pollo Loco in San Luis Obispo, and then it went missing, someone took it. So that is what we're dealing with here. Um, tweet at her, free Tiana now. Tweet the city of San Luis Obispo. This shit is just not fair and we cannot let Tiana go to prison. Please just do what you can. Information's in the bio. But other than that, let's get into Life is Strange, okay? Where did we leave off last time? Oh, so me and Daniel just got to grandma's house, right? The vibes are weird. What's the bitch's name? What's the grandma's name? I need to stop calling the grandma bitch. What is her name? It's not Barbara. It's not Carol. Their mom's name is Karen. What is the grandma? Grandma's giving weird vibes, kind of a control freak, kind of whack, but we did pray with her before we went to bed and that made me feel a lot better. Even though I'm kind of just like, are you a crazy Christian that is racist? Or do you just love Jesus and love God and love everyone? You know, so I'm just, I'm just trying to feel her out. We went to bed and now we're waking up at grandma's house. So this is the first day of just being in this new environment with these grandparents that we don't know. Some shit goes down, it gets a little crazy, so, but yeah, enjoy. Oh man, I could sleep all day long in this bed, but I'm way too hungry. Depression be like, should get dressed. But I wanna stay in my jammies. That's cool that they have an extra room. Are they rich? They just have boy clothes? All right. I'm allowed to go out now. Um, okay. What is this? Wonder if Brody noticed his hula girl was missing. Oh, that's what Daniel took, the hula girl. What is going on? Sean! Finally. Lit! Sean, are you awake? Yeah. Breakfast almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Why is she being aggressive? Choo choo! Wait, oh, careful, shouldn't I? Chief. They're going too fast. We Should have talk to. to Steven. We're late on schedule. Yeah, but we're gonna. <sighs> What's up? Ah, uh look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. This is lit. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't. Be Wait, late this time. is that a pain? Oh no, I that's won't. like, that's like clay. Whoa, I want to ask Stephen questions. Like, how did you do that? What is that? It's not paint. It looks like clay. That is so sick. Aw, Stephen's such a cute grandpa. I think. Wait, how do I move? Why am I? Dude, I can't move. Get out of me. Oh my god, he's just... <laughs> oh my god. Just suffocating him with my titties. Let's eat some breakfast. This is a cute little grandma house. I see you, Claire. 
I see you, Claire. <gasps> the aquarium, cute. Vibes. Oh my god, wait, this house is so cute. Oh, the two little recline. Oh my god, the wallpaper. Okay, Claire. Wait, I actually. Ah, oh, the tall ceilings. Okay. Cabin vibes. This is so Oregon. <gasps> Their backyard is fat. Let's throw a party. Oh my god, wait. Grandma, can oh we throw a party? Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. Aww. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandma, show me your bomb star. Steven, Aww. your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. Oh my god, wait. I have I a love how they theory. I wonder if the grandparents are going to try to, like, adopt Daniel. How they're getting along. Oh my god, and then Daniel's going to probably want to stay with the grandparents. They have trains and shit. And then I'm going to be like, Daniel, don't you want to come with me to Mexico? Ugh, and then that's going to put a strain on our relationship. Need help? Do you need help or... Anything? Oh, don't worry. I'm calling it. I That's can do this happen. in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Chill, Claire. Choo choo! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I feel like I'm getting a little jealous here. Ooh, yummy. Oh, yum. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great. As usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. I guess. I don't want to be a dick and be like, I miss Seattle. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe. Unlike the big city. I feel like I, I feel the it. opposite. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand. Neighbors, let's party. Like let's... to Charles next door. He lost his wife and mm. things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old party? is his son? I, I think he's your age. Oh, here we go. Ooh, cool. Here we go. Daniel's gonna wanna stay here. But at least I'll have a friend. Of course, I don't have anyone my age. Oh my god, bitch. What did I- What did we talk about? Stop it, crazy! Hey! What's going on back there? Nothing. What? Oh, <laughs> I thought Steven was a fast eater. Okay. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, great. About that locked room upstairs. <sighs> I told Bruh. you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Ooh. Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. It's not safe. Why don't you go explore outside? Yes. You sure look like you're getting better. Ooh, the tension. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Ooh, I'm pissed. I'm so pissed. Like, is he dumb? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Karen's still your daughter. Why lock it then? Why lock it then? Is that rude? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. She has powers. We just she has want powers. to move on with our lives, Sean. You have to respect my rules under my roof. Okay? That that's my mom? Always. I appreciate that, Sean. 
there's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go respectful king. Respect your elders. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about all this. Girly. It's... It's fine. It's fine, really. Seriously. We don't have to. It's chill. Where's the fucking key? Hey. Claire? What's on your mind, Sean? My mom? Finally, we're talking. That's all I wanted. What did you think of Dad? What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your gauges? father was... Uh, he was his own person. Okay. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. What, because he was And Mexican? he never took a single step to change any of that. Did you try? Did you? I wish we would have. Some bridges you can't cross. <sighs> I can only live with regrets now. Don't worry. You guys taking care of us is... all he would have wanted. That's a very kind thing of you to say, yeah, Sean. Yeah, how sweet. Thank you. Um... Do you know anything about... Dad's funeral? There was a service. Oh, shit. We couldn't make it in time. But we sent flowers. I'm sorry, Sean. <sighs> it's okay. I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Mm. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? <sighs> yeah. I would like to know about the neighbors so we can throw a party. What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. Mm. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and... Well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand, keep an eye on his drinking problem. Mm. His son Chris is a little angel, though. Great. I think he could be a good influence on Daniel. This boy has spent too much time on the road. I guess. Yeah. And I'm not always the best role model. You're doing fine, me. Uh, do I care? Yeah, I guess. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Aww. Almost 40 years. Damn. <sighs> Man, that's more than twice my age. That's impressive. You both were married during Y2K. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend, or... <laughs> Whoa, Claire. Almost. Period. I almost started dating this... one person. <sighs> that sucks. But I guess... not anymore. Not Miranda. I understand. The other bitch. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. <sighs> I hope. Okay. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very Aww, welcome. So sweet. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. That was sweet and wholesome. So how do we go outside? Oh, didn't she say Stephen had a key? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Daniel. Have you ever seen any actual fish in there? Never. Uh, okay. Why do you have it? Aquarium. You don't have any fish? What? So, I'm assuming I'm supposed to... Where the fuck is Steven? Was he in the kitchen and I just completely missed that? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Bruh. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. I 
Hold on. I guess, Grandpa. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just. Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Oh, hey, not. Uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. oh, shit. Great. I mean, I did uh, want it's this. It's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. Oh, great. Okay. He's about to grill me. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You it's know been, what I'm talking it's about. Been one day. Don't you? Oh, shit. Um, what? I don't want to lie to him. I'm not going to lie to him. I'm done lying. I learned my lesson with my dad. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell the truth. Yeah. I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can... Well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after... Yeah, tell the truth. Everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. What? That was not clear. I I really don't know what to think. He needs a doctor. Or something. Dude. Then I'd probably never see him again. He's just yeah, a psychic. I get it. He needs you. Yeah. More than anything else. Yeah. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Period, Grandpa. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. Love, Stephen. She adores Daniel. And just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I knew it. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Puerto Lobos, get it right. We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican yeah. boys out on the run. <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay uh, here. Steven. And for you guys, too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? He would want us in Puerto de Lobo. Lobos? If I said, you don't know him, that's what I want to say. But I don't want to be rude, and I feel like if I said that, it would come off like, you don't know him, fuck you. I'm trying to be respectful. It's different now. Of course not. Wait, what? But everything's different now. Oh. I know. Period. I know. Well, just think about it. But oh God. don't torture yourself. Daniel's gonna want to stay. Ugh. Hey, uh, Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed. Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> I'm glad that Here. I told the truth. You guys enjoy the sun. Um, I just, I just really hope Steve. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Uh, Thanks. I just really hope that Steven doesn't It's good to see you in my lair. Use that as like back blackmail. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? <sighs> Bitch. Since what? I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally. Yeah. Um 
No problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. Jeez. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I already know I that. Know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Okay. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. Yeah, busy my ass. Uh, come over here. <laughs> yeah, bitch. You gotta find me first. Oh my god. <sighs> Jeez. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Ew, what is that room? What was that? That was creepy. I didn't, I didn't like that. What's in here? Ew, wait, what's going on? Oh. Okay. Oh, wait, he's definitely in here, huh? Oh. Huh? JK. Oh, wait, is he behind the door? Gotcha! Uh, okay. Mm. Wait, what? Where is he? Is he in the fridge? Uh. Uh. I don't wanna play no games, play no game. Whoa. I saw that. Dumbass. Wait, oh. what? That door just moved, though. Y'all saw that too, right? Oh, he's definitely under here. Dumbass. Oh my god, wait. Don't pop out. I'm scared. I don't care that much. I don't wanna play no games, play no games. I'll go around and give you my last name. Oh, he's definitely here, huh? I know you're in there. Gotcha! What oh my god, what? Behind you! Wow. Okay. Yeah. Very funny. <laughs> no more hiding. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? Period. We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. What? Never mind, okay? What? No. Cool. What? Thanks, Sean. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Uh, you little brat. That's not how things work around here. Alright. Let's get it over with. Dude, it's called chores. Uh... Daniel should do something too. Fuck around, give you my last name. Yeah. Fuck around, give you my last name. <laughs> okay. Time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Haha! <laughs> yes! Aw, let's go play outside. Oh my god, I want to have a party here. Oh, man, finally. Feels so good to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Right? Um, oh, that oh. shit was traumatizing, dude. <laughs> oh. oh, wait, fuck. We should probably not oh, oh, oh. be loud. Right? <sighs> Get ready for storage wars. What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. Of course. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> oh Sean, no. Look! Ugh. The neighbor. Of course he has a cool tree house. <gasps> uh. Whoa. Aw. <laughs> that would freak me the f- I'd start screaming and crying. Wait, that's so funny. 
thought it was him. Oh my god, I don't want to talk to him. Can we not? Can uh, we? <coughs> Did you see that? S see what? Um, see what? We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Oh, 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 okay. I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That t-shirt is Why does he wicked. talk like that? Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, power bear. bear. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, man. I knew it. I have the mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh, God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Oh, Dad, fine. I'm fine. Chill. I promise. Uh, are you sure? Oh, Listen, shit. I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. Whoa. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. They're our grandparents. Oh, I see. Oh, geez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay. Let's get you inside. I, uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. He wants to hang. Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Uh, is it? Is it? Really? Uh, never mind. See you around. Sure. Wait, that was weird. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, wait, oh, because he's drunk, right? Thanks, guys. See you later. Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Seriously. Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? What? Uh. Concede. Remind the rules. I didn't want the kid to fall, but at the same time... That was because he was a dumbass. A kid. But he was using his powers for good. But that still seems sketchy. I'ma just remind him the rules. I know you only wanted to help, but it's too dangerous for both of us. <laughs> Whatever. Rules are boring. Yeah, but it'll be worse than boring if we get busted out here. Come on, Danny. Yeah. Steven already saw you using your powers. <laughs> Fine. I'll be careful. I'll never help anybody again. Oh, please. Okay? Daniel. Enough that. Enough remember that. that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time. Okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a little bit of codependency on my end. Like, I don't want Daniel to be friends with that kid. But also, I am just trying to keep him safe. And keep us safe. Because at the end of the day, we are running away from the law. I sense some jealousy. Sorry. Oh, fuck. Oh. That kid never listens. Dude, he's such an idiot. But he does just want a friend his age. But knowing Daniel, he's gonna show his friend the superpower. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Okay. Wait, I need to get changed. I probably shouldn't go there in my underpants. Actually, I kind of just want to show up in my underwear. Where am I getting all these swaggy clothes? Also, are the grandparents cool with Daniel being over there? Do they know? Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Yeah, where are y'all? Well... Looks like I'm home alone. Where are they? Why would they just 
leave us here. Oh shit. These stairs are so hard to walk down. Oh, right. Sunday morning. Oh, they're at church. Clarence Stephen must be at church. Period. Oh wait, there's a note. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Why didn't they invite us? Maybe I could use Steven's laptop. Dude, what? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. I need to check Twitter. What is Jenna doing? Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. Uh... Look at this. What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Oh no, he's on Reddit. Hey, is anybody following the Seattle shooting incident? There's lots of weird things going on nobody can explain. How did the officer really die? Where did the mysterious explosion come from? I'm a login. Holy shit. Who are these assholes? That's some fucked up hate speech. Oh my god, they're just leaving this on my Facebook wall? What the hell? That's so fucked. Hi, Mr. Diaz. I'm a reporter for the Seattle Underground. If you would be interested in an off-record interview to air your side of the story, please message me at your convenience. Thank you. Lila, thank you for your help. Sean and Daniel are not killers. You can contact me if you need info. Wait, Lila, don't... Wait, what? Okay, uh... Wow. Lila seems to be having a hard time. Oh, shit. Uh... Never seen her this salty. Can I log out? I would like to log out. My grandma literally told me not to use the internet, and I did. And now she's gonna know that I did because it won't give me the option to log out. Great. Great. Just great. I'll call Lila. She's probably Just worried. a quick call can't hurt us. I need to know if Lila's okay. I know y'all are. Yes? Lila? Hey. It's Sean. Holy shit. No way. Uh, okay. How are you? How are you? Wow. You know, been better. I mean, you literally hung up on me. Sean. It's been weeks. How could you cut me off like that? Lila, I'm so sorry. We had to hide out for a while. Plus, I ditched my phone. Never heard of pay phones? I had to lie to the police for you for fuck's sake. They grilled me for hours after your last call. Oh, shit. Uh... I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have called. Oh, fuck. Fuck. And I'm doing it again. Sorry, I... I'll go now. No! Don't hang up on me, Sean. Don't you dare do it again. Do it. Um. Talk to me. Please. Oh, God. What if she's with the police, though? How are you? How's Daniel? We're all good, Lila. Better than we've been for ages. I swear. Okay. Now, where the hell are you? Oh no, wait, fuck. Um, somewhere safe. Period. Somewhere safe. Not Don't worry. Any Let's info. say... We found some help. For now. Really? That's what I wanted to hear. Okay. I kept seeing all these awful things happen to you. I know. I'm sorry. Please tell me about you. About yeah. high school. Anything. Other than this fucking mess. How's the gang? I'm not gonna ask how's Jen. How's the gang? Like... How's the gang? <laughs> how's the gang? Well, the guys are fine. Adam's all about this new game. Fuck. Cool. I miss our land parties. They miss you, Sean. Oh, 
Ellery's now the captain of the track team. Okay. <laughs> They're kicking ass. <laughs> Considering they lost their best runner. Oh, sure. Shit. I'm a pro runner now. Oh, and what about Lila the Love Witch? Yeah. Seeing someone? <laughs> no way. I'm way too busy trying not to lose my shit over you and Daniel. Oh. <laughs> I've been really worried, Sean. <laughs> I'm on medication. I couldn't sleep anymore. Oh, fuck. You're gonna be okay, Lila. So are we. But you have to be strong. Um, we'll see each other again. We'll see each other again. We just have to wait until all this blows over and they forget about us. You promise? It might be a while. Fuck. But I'll try. I don't want to promise anything. When I can. Thank you for calling, Sean. You literally saved my day. It was so cool to hear your voice, Lila. I... I gotta go look for Daniel now, but... I'm glad I called you. Oh, man. I miss you guys so much. <laughs> you better take care of yourself. My baby boy. Give him a big hug for me. I will. You take care too, okay? Seriously. Love you, Lila. I really hope that the police don't look through her phone and track that phone number. Fuck. I really miss her. I delete? Stop thinking about that. Why didn't I tell her to, like, delete the time to go get call Daniel. log y'all have an iphone right like can you delete that we talked um where the fuck is daniel dude i really don't want to deal with these neighbors at all it's a pretty day outside okay Let's get this brack back home now. Period. Is this the house? The birds are chirping and I am anxious about the fact that I just called Lila. <sighs> Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I am. Do I just suck at talking to him? Not my fault. Wait, shit. Oh. I'm just gonna walk in. It's my Daniel! House. What's going on here? I could have knocked. <gasps> Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain! Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but he can do I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I oh know God. you did. I was flying. I can move things. This dweeb. Objects. With my mind. Oh, a superpower. Really? Yes. Irresponsible. I'll just say pretty cool. Well. Wait, fuck. That's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. Maybe that was a good thing. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Okay. Team Signal. Totally. I'm gonna be... I hate it here. Super Wolf. Oh god, yeah, I hate it here. <laughs> What's your super name, Sean? Sean. I don't know. Something cool like El Diez Blow Loco. Mm, can I Sounds go back? like a super villain's name, but okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. I'm just in his house. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, what? Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. 
Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah, Ugh, stop. they share a lot of things, as thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? I knew this was gonna happen. We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Nah. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. No, bro. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. They'll worry, though. They're at church. We can't just leave, you know? I'm just trying to, like, be respectful. They'll worry. Well, they'll worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. Dude. Why do you always have to be a party pooper? Uh... It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean. I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please. Dude. Please. I don't... Please. Uh... <sighs> okay. You win. Not a fair fight. So let's go. <laughs> yes! Yeah! See? Dangerous. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. Dude, I'll have gonna... one I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. What if the dad is just drunk? I'm glad drunk? you're coming, too. Wait, hey. what if the dad is drunk and we're about to get in the car with him and then we get in a car crash? Hey, you want to see my toys? Grandma gets pissed at me. Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, what is up with this you have to know hot dog? everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? I Let's don't see. care. <laughs> so not into it. Um, Careful. It may be tricky. Okay, what? Look closely. Dude, I'm... He's the villain. He's a hero. Careful. It may be tricky. Um, fuck, I don't know. Who cares? Look closely. Are those grenades? The bad guys? Bro, the shut good up. good guys. Dang. Villain. I don't fucking know. Villain. Villain? Hmm, okay. Right? I don't know. Okay. How did I do? You're not a very good observer. I get okay. it, Okay, let me introduce them to you. Whatever. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pie. How was I supposed to know that? So, who are the bad guys? That's not Terrius and the shark stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain <sighs> Spirit and Kids. Super Wolf <laughs> will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. Dude, I'm just trying not <laughs> to yeah. be a juvie. Strength in numbers. <laughs> Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Your father knows? Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell. Uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. All cool with him? Chris, it's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't oh, know. Oh shit, was um, that too much? Claire seems to be worried about you guys. 
Claire's always worried. He's just, he An alcoholic? has a hard time being on his own. That's all. I understand. Well, I can understand that. But I hope you know you're not alone. Thanks, Sean. Aw. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power, and I have Daniel. Oh, Sorry, great. the water eater is still broken. No, oh, it's cool. The Daniel's signal. a friend. Come on, Daniel. Hey! I'm stoked for him. Pro tip don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. Okay. I guess. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Wait, am I not going with? Oh, okay. I was like, you're just going to send your little brother with these random strangers? I swear to God, if this man is drunk right now and he crashes his car, the car is going to break down or he's going to crash. And why are they in the trunk? That is not safe. Claire would kill me if she found out. What if Claire and Steven pass us on their way home and they yell at me? Is this just my anxiety talking? Or am I being logical or strategic? I, I don't know. The line is blurred. Anything can happen in this fucking game. Oh my god, please don't hit black ice. Drive slower. Do you have snow tires? Do you have chains? Ew, just watching, I know this is a video game, but just like watching cars drive in the snow freaks me out. I'm so scared of black ice. Oof. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> this is cute. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? <sighs> I what? can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I get that, bro. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Maybe Chris could ha Oh god, I don't know. Maybe Chris could help us if we told him what was going on. But what could he do, you know? Like, how could he really help us. I don't know Chris. I don't. I don't know him. I don't feel comfortable. I told my grandpa because he's my grandpa, you know? But we don't know them. But I'm not lying to Chris. I'm just not telling him personal information about my family. Protect the secret. But if I pick that and Daniel keeps blabbing his mouth, it's gonna create more tension. Oh God. My overthinking brain cannot make a decision to save my fucking life. We gotta think about us. This is our lives on the line. I would need to get to know Chris on a deep level. I'ma do that. I'ma do this. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules, but I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. <sighs> yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Oh, or Chris grandma, is a little kid. Or <sighs> a cop, or- <gasps> My dad, oh my God, Chris is the kid, not the dad. Damn it, I thought it was the dad. But if I chose stop lying to Chris, Chris would definitely tell his dad. 
and then the dad could blab. I'm good okay, with my decision. Okay. I'm cool with it. I get I'm it. Cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. But I'm careful. I'm cool with That's it. not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. <sighs> you said that last Deal. time. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. He's just... Oh, my God. Daniel sucks sometimes. Love him, but, like... Wow. So many trees. Are you coming, Sean? <laughs> don't worry. Dude, I'm right here. I'll be around. I know. What am I supposed to do? Find Daniel a Christmas present. What? Okay. Uh, I've never been on such a dangerous mission. Yeah, these wild trees are just waiting to eat us. Okay. We'll have to tame the one we want. Relax. Hi. Everything all right? All good. Quiet morning as usual. Good. Is that a yo-yo? Tell me if you need anything. <laughs> Daniel had sure. one back home. I'm fine for now. <gasps> Betty loved this. So I'm worry. not... What? Steal it? Steal it? Steal it? Is there any other, like, options? Also, we're not supposed to be in public. Right? Like, we were supposed to- Oh my god. Claire's going to kill me. Oh, period. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Shit, I don't have enough money. Sitting bears- oh, seven bucks. You won't find better deals in Beaver Bruh. Creek. Just let me go through this. I don't want to steal another thing, but I know that Daniel would love the yo-yo. But I'm not going to steal. I'm not going to do that. We only sell handmade local Shut products. Up, man. Come take a look. I get it. I'm standing right here. I'm looking. Snowman's cute, but the bear's kind of lit. But the snowman's cheaper. Oh, fuck it. I'll get the bear. I'll get the bear. Hey, um, can I get one of these? Bears? Sure. Our Bears. best seller this year. Cool. Oh, okay. Cool. Best seller. Sweet. Hey. Here you go. Thanks. Oh, sweet. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day then. Fuck yeah, it. you Two too. Two bucks to my name. Thanks. <sighs> Great. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. We Food. Fuck we yeah. Leave now come take before a Claire and Steven come back. Yeah, my god. Are we not freaking out about that? No time to sit or draw, bro. Sorry. Why are you just walking in place like that, idiot? Found what you were looking for, oh, city boy? I thought that was Chloe. Um, yeah. <gasps> something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. I love the mullet. Poor kid. Sorry, I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. This is a potential friend. Potential girlfriend. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Kinda ah. like her. You got family. My grandparents. <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting Same. for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Wicked. <laughs> kind of weird. Man. It's wicked. That sounds wicked. <gasps> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Wait. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <sighs> and you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> what? Stoner break. Not oh. even close. 
We actually got work over there. Sean, weed. what are you doing? Growing we hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. I'm making oh. a friend, Hi. dude. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. Aw. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. Daniel is wholesome. I'm Cassidy. Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. Okay, we got friends it's now. It's very dangerous. I can Look tell. Us. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, I'm Sean. Uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, oh, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Love him. Hello, pups. Oh, is like little. Is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. God, these are literally Eugene, Oregon kids. <laughs> if you have been to Eugene or if you're from there, you would know what I'm talking about. And so he funny. stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> or Ashland. <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks cool. Fuck you. She looks really cool. Kind of got a I crush. Think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah. You always go for those suburban boys. What's the vibe? Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Brother, hey, sister? No worries. What's up? Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Can I get your Facebook or? Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails Wait. someday. Yeah. See you around. Wait, what? Doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, <laughs> the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. My dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. Hey. <laughs> I'm still oh, late. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh my god, I'm still drinking White Claws. I'm disgusting. <laughs> Breakfast. I'm gonna timestamp this and show that it's like fucking 6 a.m. I'm this working. Is so hot. <laughs> You're literally doing it. Like, I didn't realize how ridiculous this looked from like an outside perspective. If I don't see you guys before I leave, it's good seeing you. I leave Wednesday. Drink some Pedialyte. Yeah. <laughs> I work at 2:30, definitely. Oh fuck, dude. Bye. Bye. <laughs> They saw me sitting here at 9 p.m. And now it's literally, what, 7 a.m. <laughs> hey, I'm working. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't know why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. Oh shit. Uh, let's not draw attention to ourselves. Let's just drop it. Better not get involved, man. Seriously. This guy doesn't look nice. You're right. I love myself. That was a great decision. They're pretty. But I kind of wish that I could have gotten that bitch's phone number. I, so cool. I want to be her friend. How do I let Sean? <laughs> Ridiculous. Aw, uh, you're jealous because I'm cute. 
You're lost. I'm cute too, fucker. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the guy who painted that must have been seriously high. Lucky, I wish I was seriously high. In Seattle with Jenna. Um, <laughs> at the fucking party. We were supposed to make out and bang. Where's Charles? Oh, he was waiting for me. Sawi. Okay, I'm here. Hi. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Out of this car. <sighs> Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. Mm. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Period. Cassidy. And she rocks. Um <sighs> Cassidy? Yeah. Cassidy. Cute. You name. Remember, you remember. Do you like her? <gasps> She was cool. She was cool. You're too quick. Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Yeah. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. Oh, I feel that. Oh, wait, I don't want to, like, push him. I'm playing a video game. In real life, I would say you're doing your best. But I kind of just want to know the T. Do you have some... Kind of problems. Oh my god, I'm wait. Just Why did you say that? Say not that. the man I was. Okay, okay. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. No worries. Oh, okay. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? Yeah. That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. Whoa, okay, don't bring them. But they're them. always there for us. Don't bring them in. For the Chris. Way. They seem like good people. They're chill. I'm gonna be honest, Claire is hard. Claire is... She's hard. Hard. Little bit of a control freak. I know Claire likes things to go her way. Or the highway. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. Wait, I thought that we were getting home before they came home. Hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you Wait, later, Super so Wolf. Grandparents are home already? I thought... Oh, my God. Wait, uh... I don't like that energy. That was weird. It looked like he was about to, like, run him over. Hello? That's weird. Oh, God. Hello? Here we go. Claire's about to fucking kill me. I know this is coming. Claire? Steven? I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come oh. back from church yet. Oh, thank God. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. Period. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. Oh. How so? She drew comics. That's you lit. should see her drawings. They're so cool. Oh. Just like yours. 
Thanks, dude. Hey, that's cool. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. The thing that's playing in my head right now is the meme. I would like to see it. I would like to see it. <sighs> Wait. You won't give up on that, right? But they're gonna- it's just- Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I really- Why do I- God. This is my problem with this game. I either overthink way too much or I just- Meh. Fuck it. And then I think about the consequences after I make the decision. We're gonna go into the room and they're gonna walk in the door and catch us. Freak out at me. I know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. But I would like Chris to know about Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Mm. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. I if you want, don't to. want to. I do. Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. Sean! Daniel! You really think you could open this door? Dude! Oh my god. Without no. doing too much damage? No. Yes. No. I know I can't. No. Nope. We're gonna fucking find this key. Oh god. Oh, fuck. I can't find that stupid key. Shit. Just go for it. Oh shit. Yes. Oh shit. And don't blow apart the whole house. Wait. Oh my gosh. I checked everywhere. Wow. There's not that much left. Wait, that poster was in the cabin in the woods. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? <gasps> Wait, did she stay in the cabin in the woods too? Claire and Steven must have thrown a lot of it away. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. It's like she almost never used those. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. Karen. You. you... Hey, Daniel, check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like. the hero? I guess. So cool. Um, oh, I would love to see what she looked like. These pictures are so... random. Are there no pictures of her? Oh, wait. They looked happy. Oh, wait, which one is she? How could she send all of this to hell? Uh... I'm guessing she's on the right. Is that an amethyst? It is. <sighs> she was into new age bullshit. Oh my god! Hi, you Fuck you! Is. Your brother's literally a psychic. <laughs> you cannot talk shit. <sighs> Yawn. Hope you enjoyed your trips. Yikes. So you didn't bail on us for nothing? Oh shit. Was that Why would Claire lock these up in here? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm wondering, too. Was that the first thing I was supposed to look at? Is that at? for Mom? Huh? Let me Daniel. see- Daniel! Get, get out. Come on. Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop! Here, how about this? You don't gotta be rude. I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? 
She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. Who are those men on that poster? Can I read it again? Yeah. So now we, we have... Go. Oh, goodness. Oh, what happened? I knew it. Oh, shit. I knew it. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Ugh. Fuck. Is that all you oh, wait. have to say? I declare. Please. Wait, wait, sorry. Calm down. Holy shit. No, Stephen. Did I accidentally they push went a way out of line here. We specifically told <sighs> you to stay out of this I have room. The right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah. Fuck. We found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us, but oh no. you didn't even tell us. Oh no. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. Okay. One letter doesn't change what she did to me. Uh, Claire, all of us. Claire. She is not welcome back. Claire? <laughs> Let's talk this out. It's been... I want to say both of those things. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Period. Don't you dare lecture oh, me, wait, Sean. Oh, wait, fuck. You don't know fuck. anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Listen, Sean. Ugh. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And... And we put Don't up get with a close lot of to things. me. Don't get close to me. But that breaking our door to sneak into the room. Oh, well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy. After what we've done for you. Stop gaslighting me. I knew something me. like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Ooh. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Um... Oh, um, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Um... Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! Um... Um... No, stop! Oh, um... Legs. How did that even happen? What? 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 Uh, the fuck do I do? You'll find out what I do next time. Thanks for watching. I know this is a super long one, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you go to the description and fill out the petition and the GoFundMe for Tiana. Go to Twitter. Hashtag free Tiana with two N's. Let's go, baby. Love y'all.